Hello and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy VII. In the last episode, we, uh, you know, sunk a submarine and kind of left the materia there. Uh, I guess we'll be back for it. But right now we are going to, uh, we're going back to Junon to, uh, make these guys, uh, you know, go to the airport so we don't, I don't even know what we're going to the airport for. We're supposed to, uh, they're transporting the huge materia at the airport, but still at the bottom of the ocean, so I don't know why we're going to the airport, but that's what that's what Cloud said, so we're doing that. So now if you are enjoying this series, I'd appreciate your support, so hit that subscribe button, whether you're on YouTube, Rumble, BitChute, or Odyssey, and check out these episodes live on YouTube and Twitch. Thank you. So I think uh, it was over here. Too late for whatever we're looking for, I suppose. What a weird looking ship with weird camouflage. That's a super weird ship. Oh no, the huge materia. Can't we go after it? Where is their destination? Rocket Town, of course. Now, I could have sworn he said go, we'll come back for the uh, the huge materia That's that was in the red submarine later. So how is it on that airship? Did I misread that? Did he say we'll, go, we'll, we'll look at the, um, the red submarine later and not the huge materia? Uh, who knows? Anyways, let's get back to our airship so we can go to Rocket Town. It's a different one. Oh, that makes sense. So I wasn't crazy. I did, I did read that right. Too bad this 3x doesn't speed up the. I guess you can't really speed it up. They're probably already at Rocket Town. Now, me still wishing these dots were labeled. Should be on this continent, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, good. Got lucky. Usually I'm wandering around, and we'll save it right outside. I think this is where you go into space. It's gonna be fun. Ooh, everybody's looking. What's the uh, what's young President Rufus doing by getting all those mechanics together? The Shinra series about launching that piece of crap rocket, but why now? There's a bunch of Shinra people here messing with the rocket. Is my rocket all right? It's his rocket. I thought Sid would come with us. I'm pretty sure he does, doesn't he? Hmm, a spectacle. Is something about to happen? Oh, I'm getting excited. Oh, we can't do the 3X here. Those terrorists are here. I guess they still know who we are. Gonna have to bring out uh, tougher Shinra enemies if you're gonna want to stop me, though. Oh, or put me to sleep, I guess. I guess that's another way to do it. I think gonna put all of us to sleep first. That's not gonna work. And I don't think you can do it to everyone because someone has a ribbon on. So. <laughs> Don't let them get any further. Everyone, attack. That guy likes to give an order, but I don't remember having to fight that dude. 
seems like he wants to put everyone else's life at risk. Straight to sleep. I'd, I'd like to save my level brain, but maybe for the next fight. Oh, maybe, uh, maybe Tifa has the ribbon. Oh no, I did not want to do that. That was a close one. Almost did that by accident. I wonder what level we have to be to beat to beat the game uh, comfortably. I'm guessing between 60 and 70. Ugh, you're not going anywhere. Uh-uh, nowhere. I think we're what? I think it's at 45, where we're currently at. Now let's do the let's do the blade beam. That should at least do some damage to everyone. Not as much as I thought, but it's whatever. It's not like they're that tough anyways. Right around 45, 46. So, we should be at least 50, 60 by the end, hopefully. Wait, Cloud. If you're gonna go kick those effing Shinra out of my rocket, then take me with you. Oh man. Who should I take with me then? Now right, let's take Tifa. Let's switch some stuff around. Scimitar. Oh, that's the new one we got. Ooh, triple growth. Interesting. Hmm, not a lot of material slots, but I guess that's fine. I knew Sid was coming with us. Increase manipulation rate. Let's do the strength, why not? So let's take some stuff from Vincent. Definitely want the restore. Where is it? Oh, he's right below. Nice. That's quick then. What else does he have? Time, Neo Bahamut, Hooper 5. Definitely want revive. Let's do these summons. I guess that's good enough. Yeah, I don't remember the final boss being that difficult. I know I did have to do some grinding for the Pixel Remasters, so that was kind of a pain. I don't want to do that. Although I don't know what combination you need off the top of my head for the final fight, so I'd have to be it had to be like a trial and error kind of thing, just so I can remember. I do remember it being like a multi multi phase fight. All right, let's show. Let's show those Shinra Fs. Oh, let's show those F and Shinra. Man, I just wish they would just put the curse word there. I hate having a guess. That didn't sound right.
you again. We're gonna have to face Rude this time. We will eliminate everyone who gets in Shinra's way. Alright. Ooh, Sid has his limit break. Nice. Let's take that dude out. And look at that clarity on his Sid's face. Ooh, 4,000. Nice. Now I think, if I'm not mistaken, Rude is kind of in love with Tifa. So I don't think he'll ever attack her. Which is kind of interesting. magic barrier, but whatever. Let's try this out. Oh yeah, if she's the last one standing, yeah. That makes sense. Let's hope it doesn't get to that. Well, let's see if I can steal from this dude. Couldn't steal anything. That means he has something to steal. I wonder if it's good. Man, he keeps missing. Although I guess that was the death blow is kinda hard to hard to hit. So. Oh he's got blind on, that's why. I don't think I have anything for that. That's fine, I could just uh, use these little breaks and then he's done for. Did she miss that steal? I wasn't paying attention. Ugh. I didn't even need to do clouds. Dynamite. It got us. Let's see. Is that his level one still? Sure is. Oh, wow. Didn't realize all our MP was gone. Y you? Why are you here? Root of the Root of the Turks should have been here. Too bad. Those guys are over there. Oh man, the Turks being done in like that, but I won't let you through. Just that guts, I give them that much. Ooh. What a waste of a limit break. I forgot he had the limit already ready. Oh well. At least that'll go to his uh, learning the next level. Oh, he didn't die. Or benevolent, I suppose. Hey, what the hell are you guys doing? Hey, just when I thought something was going on, you come back. Listen to me, Captain. We're gonna launch this rocket. Huh? What are you talking about? We're gonna load a materia bomb in this and blow up meteor. Our rocket's gonna save the planet. Er Man, this is so cool. Wait a minute. Shut up. Just shut the hell up. How's the rocket? It's pretty much okay. But we plan to run it into Meteor on autopilot, but the most important device is broken. Broken? How's the repair going? Shara's doing it. Oh, great. What a bunch of wizards you guys are. She's gonna take a hundred years. 
I'll take over, so don't worry about the autopilot. Hey, go ahead and tell everyone. Alright, Captain, good luck. Hey, Sid, what are you doing? There are generations of knowledge and wisdom inside the Materia. We're going to borrow their power and save the planet from Sephiroth. There's no way that we can lose the huge Materia. You understand that, right? Yeah, I understand. I understand that Materia is precious, and I also understand what you're thinking. But listen, I don't give a rat's ass whether it's science or magical power. No, I guess if I had to choose, I'd rather put my money on the power of science. Humans only used to walk around on the ground, but now they can fly. They can fly. And finally, we're about to go into outer space. Science is a power created and developed by humans. And science just might be what saves this planet. I was able to earn my living thanks to science. So to me, there's nothing greater. Now quit your worrying about what Shinner is going to do. I don't want to regret not having done something later. But Sid, shut the hell up. I don't want to hear it. Alright, time to get to work. Anyone who ain't involved, get the hell out of here. What the hell? What the hell happened? Hey, hey. Palmer, what the hell did you do? They said they finished repairing the autopilot, so I launched it. Goddamn Shara. Why'd she pick today to get fast? Damn, won't even budge. It's completely locked up. Hey, hey, hey. Almost left off. What the? No countdown? It just don't seem the same without it. Hey, hey, blast off. Nice. Cool cutscene. Oh, there was a uh, there was a countdown. One. Man, Square Enix manages to go into space pretty much in every Final Fantasy, or in a lot of them at least. Talk about a waste of fuel. Trying to break free from those uh, those arms. I finally made it. Outer space. Let's see. How's the course set? Yep, it's headed for a collision with Meteor. Can't we do something? If it goes on, we're... That damn Palmer went out of his way to lock the autopilot device. We might not be able to change course. Is this the end? Huh? What the hell are you saying? You're still young. Don't give up so easily. I'm not gonna crash into Meteor. Just watch. I keep an escape pod on the rocket just for emergencies like this. I deciphered the lock code on the escape pod. We'll bail right before we crash into Meteor. Hey, what about the huge materia? If you want the huge materia, do whatever you want. The materia should be there after you climb that ladder. You sure? I don't know. I know what I said a minute ago. But maybe all that I really wanted was just to go into outer space. So why don't you, so why don't you all do whatever you think is right? Hey Cloud. If you're going to get the materia, it's this way. No, thanks. <laughs> did not see it, did not know that. Now I remember this being kinda weird 
Let's hope I can do this in time. I finally found the huge material. It's structured though that so that the lock can be opened if we enter the passcode from the, from this control panel. There is the control panel. Try and operate it. Enter passcode. Hey Cloud, you know how to use it, right? Every time it says enter passcode, press B A X or Y. If you punch in the right code, it'll unlock and you can get the huge material. So what order am I supposed to enter the passcode in? I don't know. Just try and punch in codes randomly. Oh, great. Input error. Unauthorized user identified. Protection system will activate in three minutes. Seems like you missed the code. If we don't enter the correct passcode before the protection system activates, we won't be able to get the materia back. Oh, great. I heard there's a passcode only the top people in Shinra know. We'll probably have to enter that and try some other codes while I try and remember the passcode. Did you use Y? I'm pretty sure you didn't. I'm pretty sure I did. The second code was an A. Okay. Did you use, yeah, I push Y, buddy. I gotta use two or something? So, oh, code number three was A, I think. Okay. Second code was an A. I didn't press A. Pretty sure the last code was Y. No, maybe it was A. Keep saying. Hmm, I can't remember. Give me some more time. Don't have that much time, buddy. I have a feeling you press B only once. Yeah, okay, we did that already. Second code was an A, we're not pushing A. Oh, come on. The first code was an X. We didn't do that. Oh, the first. Okay, we're not pushing X. Second one's not Y. Oh, I think we screwed this up. We don't have any more time. Great. Ah, oh, shit. The protection system just activated. Cloud, too bad, but we gotta let it go. That's an awful way to, to do that. Oh, well. That's two, 
two materials that we screwed up on. The train one and then, well I guess we can fix that one. But. She's still here. Ugh. Damn, my leg's stuck in the debris. Sid. I can't. It's so heavy. I can't lift it. Don't worry about me. Hurry up and go. If you don't hurry, the rocket's gonna crash into Meteor. I can't go without my friends. No, you... No, sh... Oh, no, no. You F. No time to worry about other people. I'm gonna do whatever I can. You stupid. You really effing stupid. Tank number eight blew up. So tank number eight really was malfun malfunctioning. Shara, you're right. But this is the end for me. Don't say that, Sid. Huh? Shara? I tagged along. I'm coming to help you. You stupid ass. Sorry. The escape pod is this way. Please hurry. I wonder if that code for the material is uh, different every time. Or it's like standard. Because I think Vincent's code is different every time. Hurry, I'm going to detach the escape pod. Hey, Shara, does this pod really fly? It'll be okay. I've checked it. Then I'm relieved. It's different every time, Jayski. Thanks. Well, I guess there would have been no uh, hope in looking it up anyways, so... What a weird escape pod. I forget, what, what what do you get by getting that material? So this is outer space. Man, it's really a thing. I'm really here in outer space, although no one's floating around, but... So long, Shinra number 26. That's Bahamut Zero. I thought Bahamut Zero was... You get Bahamut Zero by, uh, by facing off against him. I think in the, in, in the submarine. Or am I mistaken? That thing's not going to do anything. Did more than I thought. I thought there was a fight that we uh, we face off against Bahamut. I forget wh where it is. Maybe it's not in the submarine, but. Is there a fourth Bahamut summon? Is that what I'm thinking of? Because I have two right now. Oh, there isn't? Hmm. I wonder if I'm thinking of Final Fantasy VIII. Nah, who knows? Can't remember. Yeah, I think I'm thinking of eight, yeah. Makes more sense. Last chance failed. Only if you had more rockets. Rufus and the others' plan uh, and the others' plan was a failure. What a bust! 
but I kind of hoped it'd work. We've been bothering them as much as we can, but there ain't no other way. Wonder if we've been wrong all this time. <coughs> Makes you worry, doesn't it? Don't worry, think. <coughs> hey, the girl is right. You start worrying and there's no stopping it. Things just start falling apart and get worse and worse. You're pretty damn optimistic. You're up, you up to something? Yeah, I've been thinking about this and that. All that time we've been up here looking at the planet. I've been even... I've been thinking even when we were floating in the ocean in that escape pod. I've been thinking too about the universe, planet, ocean. How wide and big. No matter where I go and what I do, it won't change a thing. Maybe you're right. But I came up with something different. I always thought this planet was so huge. But looking at it from space, I realize it's so small. We're just floating in the dark. Kind of makes you feel powerless. On top of that, it's got Sephiroth festering its side like a sickness. That's why I say this planet's still a kid. A little kid sick and trembling in the middle of this huge universe. Someone's got to protect it. You follow me? That someone is us. Sid, that's beautiful. Yo, Sid, you even got to me. Now what? You were going to protect the planet from Meteor. I'm still thinking about that. Huh? Did you hear something? Maybe it's the planet's scream. Or is it a meteor? Hey, how do we know that this is really the planet's scream? Did you forget? Bugen Hagen told us. Bugen Hagen. Let's go see Grandfather to Cosmo Canyon. I'm sure he'll be able to tell us something that'll be helpful. Alright, and with that, this seems like a good time to end this episode. In the next episode, we will head over to Cosmo Canyon. This is a nice, exciting episode. I always like when uh, we go to space in Final Fantasy games. Now, even though this was, uh, you know, short-lived, it was fun nonetheless. Uh, the journey into space in Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, eight. Yeah, eight's the one. That one's a lot, a lot funner. There's more of it. Although there is this weird floating in space thing that I don't like. It's kind of hard to do. It's not really that obvious what you're supposed to do. Um, I can't think of any other games after that that's that gone into space. Nine doesn't do it. If I'm, yeah, I don't think so. 10 doesn't do it. I think that's the end of it. 8. After that, they don't go into space anymore. Unless I'm mis- Oh, Final Fantasy XIV and Walker. They brought it back. How uh, could I forget that? But anyways, we'll uh, go to Cosmo Canyon in the next episode. Thanks for watching and have a good day.